In a world full of possibilities, what if you could design your dream garden sanctuary down to the last detail? Imagine the size, the color, the frame, and every little accessory coming together just as you pictured it. Yes, it's possible. And within your reach with the Janssen's Greenhouse Configurator. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're gonna to guide you step-by-step step on how to bring your greenhouse vision to life. If you've been dreaming about a custom greenhouse that reflects your personality and that fits your unique gardening needs, well, then you've come to the right place. So stay tuned with us today, pay attention, and let's get started. Now, we're not gonna waste much time on our website what we're here primarily for today is how to customize our own greenhouse. So on the very top of our toolbar, you'll notice where it says custom greenhouses. Go ahead and click on that, and that will bring you directly into our order a customized Janssen's Greenhouse webpage. Now, take your time, review this page. There's a lot of useful information on uh, delivery time frames, uh, also what customized greenhouses can be ordered. You know, a lot of the Janssen's greenhouses can be ordered and brought into the States. We may not carry them as standard models, but they can be brought in. So take a look at that on some of the standard models that are available. And also we'll go a little further down into what we can configure. Now today, our primary purpose is gonna be to review these 10 points on how to utilize the configurator tool. So take your time, review all of these, and then while you're reviewing them, follow along with us and we'll go ahead and show you how to use the configurator tool. You'll find several links on this page. Let's just go ahead and utilize the one that's right in front of us. Now that we find ourselves on the Exaco configurator website, let's go ahead and run over a couple of the features that we see on this page. First off, on our right hand side, you'll notice our English, our, our choices for language. Now we've got it set in English, but there are multiple other language choices as well. Now, while it's set as English, all of your measurements will come up as standard, uh, mostly inches in this configuration. Uh, also over here on your right hand side, you'll notice your configurator, a section where you can load your configurator code. Now, once we save our design, we will be issued a configurator code. This is where you would put it in to come back and make changes or to update your design. Now, you'll also notice our action models, our freestanding and our lean tos. Now we're gonna primarily focus on our freestanding here today, but I did wanna briefly run over our action models. Our action models, or our greenhouses are already pre-designed. Uh, they have set height, lengths, and widths, and, and, and set colors. However, if you'll look over some of these action models, you'll notice that they do come in different sizes, and they do come in different available colors. So take your time, look through some of these. One thing we did wanna mention is that all of the Janssen's greenhouse models are available for order. We may not carry them standard, but we can get them in for you. So take your time and look at some of these different action models. So today we're gonna to be looking at our custom freestanding models. Now you'll notice that we carry some of these, some of these we do not. Uh, the Helios, we primarily carry these models. Uh, the EOS, we have one or two of these models, but once again, these are all gonna be customizable to your height, width, length, and color. So today we're gonna focus on the Gigant. Uh, the, Gigant the Gigant is one of our newer, larger customizable models. So let's go ahead and select our Gigant and get started. Well, now that we found ourselves on the configurator page for the greenhouse that we've chosen, let's go over just a few of the features that we see on this main page, and then we'll get into building our greenhouse. Now at the very bottom, over on our left-hand side, you will notice all of our standard dimensions, which are also displayed here by the greenhouse. Now the greenhouse, you can simply grab and move around and articulate it so that you can get the view that you would like to see. Let's go over just a couple of the features that we find over here on the right-hand side quickly. 
Our very first tab is going to be personalize our product. This way you'll be able to look into the frame color, the glass type, your, uh, your gaskets and things of that nature. Our second tab is where we'll be able to change our dimensions. We'll be able to go our width, our length, our wall height, uh, even our glass modules. Uh, then a little further down is when we start getting into choosing our numbers of doors and windows. As you can see here, we can do a different se selection of doors and windows. And then now these two tabs here actually kind of go together. Once you pick your doors and your windows, you're actually able to go in and pick other accessories that will fill on the interior. Now, I bring these up on purpose because let's say you begin to develop your greenhouse and you have to leave in quite a hurry. Down here at the very bottom, you'll notice on all three of these screens, there is a save your configuration. If you find that you need to step away or leave quickly, just simply hit save your configurator and there is our saved number. Now, all this information can be filled out later on, but we just wanted to quickly point out a quick save feature. The benefit of this quick save feature is that now utilize this code to pull your work back up. Let's quickly go back to the Greenhouse Emporium website and show you how to pull back up your saved greenhouse. So let's get started with doing just that. So we find ourselves on our Greenhouse Emporium configurator page. Simply go right down to the link for the configurator tool and get ready to utilize the code that we have from earlier. That will bring us directly to our Exaco configurator page. And right here on the very top left hand side, you'll see where it says use your code to load a saved configurator. So let's go ahead and type in our code and pull up our saved greenhouse. Type in your code there, hit load configurator. That will bring you right where you left off with your greenhouse when you either ran out of time or just decided to come back for some additional ideas. So let's go ahead and get started designing our greenhouse. So let's go back up to the top with our, our frame colors. Now on the, the Gigant, you can choose your frame color, especially on the configurator. Uh, you can go with a uh, an aluminum frame, no color. You can also go with the jet black, which we have displayed. You can go with a fur green or a white. Let's click on the white to show you what will happen. Now, once you click on that, you'll notice that your frame immediately gets changed into the white. So if that's the kind of look you're going for, there you are. Now, we're going to go ahead and go back to the black frame just because I think it looks a little bit better for my purposes. Now, a little further down, you'll start to see your glass type. Now, if you are confused or you don't quite know which, which glazing type to go with between glass or polycarbonate, take a look at our video that we've produced talking about which is better for you, glass or polycarbonate. And we'll post the link up at the top of the page. Now, we're going to go ahead and pick the polycarbonate. As you can see, it immediately gives it a different look, so therefore you've got a really good display. All right, now that we've got our 10 millimeter polycarbonate, let's go down and discuss what they mean by the rubbers or by the seals. Now with our frame black, you can go in here and pick the color that you would like for your gaskets or your seals. Now these gaskets, they are gonna be what hold your glass into place and keep the outside weather on the outside. So these are gonna be what seals your glass into place. So, you know, you're probably going to want your gaskets to match your frame. So we've gone ahead and chosen our black frames on that as well. Now, the wall color, this will come into effect once we start getting into our fine tuning or our displays. But let's go ahead and pick a color. Like I said, this will come into play a little later on. Let's pick a red color so that it really stands out. And the roof crest right here at the very bottom. Now, you'll notice that we don't have any decorative features on the very top, but this is an option. As you can see, it tends to give it a bit more of a Victorian look. Now that's an option. You can leave that on or off. We're going to leave it on. Okay. So now that we've got all of our exterior features picked, let's go ahead and get into changing our dimensions, which are displayed here around our greenhouse and over here on our right, or I'm sorry, on our left-hand side. So let's go ahead and pick our dimensions tab. Now in this dimensions, 
you'll see several things here. Once again, displayed our A, our B, our H1, and our M. This is where that wall color comes into effect. Now, our dimensions, as you can see, that's going to be our length, our width, our gutter height, and our ridge height. You can change every one of these. So we can actually change our width. We can go in here, we could change our length. So let's just go ahead and add a little bit more to this one. Let's go up to 296. Now this will ask you, are you sure you wanna change your dimensions? Because if you've added doors and windows before this, then it will kind of rearrange it. But currently we haven't done any of that, so go ahead and say yes. So now as you can see immediately, our length has been changed to 296. Now, the gutter height. This is where you can affect the height of your greenhouse. Currently, our gutter is set at 80 inches, but you can go upwards of 100 inches. Once again, it'll give you the dimensions. It'll, it'll give you the warning that this could change your configuration with doors and windows. Go ahead and click yes. And then now, as you can see, we've added an extra layer, which now brings our gutter height up to 100 inches and our ridge height up to 137. So depending on how tall you would like, you can adjust that as well. Now, here is our wall height that we had discussed earlier. Our wall height is available in eight inch, 16 inch, and 24 inch. Let's just do 24 to give you a brief description of what we're discussing. So as you can see, you've now placed your greenhouse on a 24 inch stem wall. This here is the exact reason why we've chosen the color red. So it really stands out against the black frame for display purposes, of course. Now, as you move a little further down, you'll start to see glass modules. Now, right now, these glass panels are roughly 24 plus inches. We can make them much, much smaller. So if you wanted more of a, a classic sort of a Victorian sort of look where the panes weren't quite as big, you certainly could go with something like this. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the 738. Okay, now the connection. This display is currently freestanding, but we can adjust it to where we want the rear attached to a wall. And then as you can see, there's no longer glass on that back wall. The hardware would be changed so that you could actually attach it to a wall. Now, you may be noticing that we don't have any doors and windows on our greenhouse. That's going to be our next tab. Actually, the next two tabs. These two tabs will allow us to add doors and windows, louver windows, to include the interior stuff as well, shelving and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and head on over to here where we can choose all of our accessories. Now, immediately once you click on your third tab, you'll notice that you can choose the numbers of doors and windows. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I want to add some double doors to my greenhouse. So go ahead and hit the plus or the add button, and it will immediately display your door on the front of the greenhouse. Now, you can adjust where this door is placed by simply toggling left or right to be able to move that door. Now, I'm going to want it right here in the very center of my gable wall. So that'll be my double door there. Now you can, of course, add multiple double doors or multiple doors. I only want one, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Now, roof windows. For a greenhouse this size, I think I'm gonna want, oh, I think maybe three. Let's go with six roof windows on this particular design. So let's just add them like we did our roof, or like we did our, our double doors. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Now with all those roof windows added in, we can simply come in here and adjust them. Now this is primarily for display purposes. You know, once you get ready to actually build your greenhouse, you can once again finalize where you would like all of your roof windows and things of that nature. This is primarily just for our display purposes. Okay, as you can see, we've adjusted all of our windows. So let's continue on down. Now, you'll notice here on the very next one that says portal frame, you might be wondering what that is. Well, simply hover over it and it'll highlight the feature on the interior of the greenhouse. The portal frame are going to be your structural beams or your support beams. Now, with this greenhouse being 294 inches long, 137 inches tall, they've suggested two of these portal frames. Now, of course, you can add more 
and you can adjust them and move them around as you see fit. So we're just going to go with what they recommended for the two of the portal frames. Now you're, there is also a push out window or a tilt window. There is a louver window. Now the tilt window is a fairly new feature, been available the last year or so. It's a, let's go ahead and add one or two of these over to the sides. We got one and we have two. Now you see that they've immediately put them by our door. I don't want them there. Let's move them over to the side windows as in such, and then we'll move the other one over to the other side as well. So this way, it just adds a little additional ventilation throughout our greenhouse. Let's keep on going down to our louver windows, which is really gonna help with ventilation considering how many roof windows that we've added. So your louver window, let's add that on there. Let's go ahead and add two louver windows. We'll leave them here on the sides of our door. Now be cautious where you place your louver windows and your side windows as well. Your Some features may interfere. Right now, our louver window where it's placed, if you had a sliding door or even an interior shelving, these may come into effect or may interfere with certain placements. So just keep that in mind. So let's come on down. Now we get into what we call our full panels. Now, the full panel is pretty neat. If you have privacy issues, so let's say you want to block off this one back corner, you certainly can. By adding in a full panel, you can see that it just blacks it right out or it adds an added bit of security. So let's say we want to put a compressor or something like that on the interior and we just don't want our neighbors to see it. Add you a few of those and then just simply move them around to where you see fit. So now we have a privacy area in the back of our greenhouse where you can't see through. So it's a pretty neat little feature. All right, now that with that all chosen, let's get into this additional tab here. Once we get into here, now's when we get behind the scenes and we can really start to fine tune what we would like to do. Immediately, our doors are displayed, our windows, our push out window, our louver window, all of those good such things. Now here's our roof windows, our side windows, our louver windows. Now in here, you can start to add certain features to them. Your fly screens to keep the bugs out, available in all three options. For your doors, you'll have a door stop, which you can open the doors and it keeps them open. You'll also have a pump here, which will allow the door to close automatically. Now, one thing you know want to keep in mind, all of these features, since we are customizing our greenhouses, all of these features will need to be included. With our action models, these are already prearranged. We're customizing. So we're going to want to actually go through here and pick all of our features. So with my double door, I want two, I want two stops, and I want two screens. My window, there is a storm automatic opener and there is a normal automatic opener. Your storm is a little beefier, heavier spring, heavier frame. Now we live in a fairly mild temperate area. So I'm going to go ahead and choose since I've got Two side push out windows. I want two automatic openers. I'd also like two screens for that. My roof window, the exact same. Go ahead and order six of them. Now, you know, I think I would like four of these to be automatic openers and then two of them to be spindles. Now, if you're confused on the difference here, take a small moment and look at the video where we kind of briefly discuss the automatic opener versus the spindle opener. Once again, we'll have the link at the top of the page. Now we'll go ahead and pick six of our fly screens as well. Our louver windows, I would like for those to open up automatically just like my roof windows. And then once again, a few extra fly screens. Now from there, we can get into our additional options. Now here is where you can really, really fine tune. You can start getting into your seed trays, your shelving. Uh, even your two and your five slat. Now, what's nice about that is once again, you can go in here and choose the color to match your frame, or you could choose a different color if you want it to kind of pop on the interior. You can do the same thing with the covers for the nuts and the bolts. So very nice, very nice features. So take your time. You can order extra bolts, but take your time. Review all of these things. Okay, now that we have all of our additional accessories chosen, 
Let's get out of that screen. Now you'll notice it does not display it on the interior. But once we get ready to save, that's when we'll be presented back with our list that we have chosen. Okay. Now, now before we get too far along, I did want to take a moment to discuss the full panel and the other option, the half panel. Now, some of our features, our, our stem wall and our back wall are interfering with us being able to put in our half panels. So let's go ahead and get rid of these two features so that we can discuss the full panel and the half panel. So while you're here in your dimensions page, let's go ahead and get rid of our stem wall. Let's get rid of our wall connection which will bring us back to our standard shaped greenhouse. Now with that being done, let's go back down here to our doors and windows. We can add in and discuss the half panel and full panel. Okay, now we've already got our three full panels here on our sidewall. Let's eliminate those because I am more interested now in the half panel that is displayed. Now you may be familiar with our retro models. If you're not, check out our retros from Janssen. Uh, our Retro VI-36 and Retro VI-46 are just a few. Now, with the half panels, you may click on that. Now, it's going to ask you, do you want panels everywhere? Now, you can choose them just like we did our, our full panels, one or two, or you can go with this option with the panels everywhere. And it immediately changes the look, it gives us that retro look that we said that are available in our retro models. Now, here is why I bring up this feature. Once you have your panels displayed as we have here, simply go back up to your personalization tab. By doing so, that now pops up the decorative panels. You may actually choose how your panels are decorated. You can go with a simple cross pattern, a floral pattern, or a blank pattern. So just a really neat feature that is available with just some of the different options. So with that being said, let's get down into our next tab, which will actually show us how we can create a nice display before we get ready to save it. Now in this area here, it will give you your dimensions. Now we've already chosen inches because we've chosen a language of English. Now from here, you can also choose the spotlight intensity. Really neat. You can choose the ambient light intensity as well. Now, if you go a little further down, here's where I think that really sets it above the rest. You can choose the atmosphere or the environment that you'd like your greenhouse to sit in to give you a better view of what it's going to look like on your property. Really neat, really neat feature. Now, you can also have a little automatic rotation. You can, you know, just for display purposes, you can play around with this just for a moment. Now we don't need it to rotate for us, so we'll go ahead and stop that. With your greenhouse completed, you may be wondering how to submit your design so you can get a quote. Well, you could submit it right here. On the right-hand side, they'll ask you for your information, or you could submit it to Exaco to receive a quote. Or what we would suggest is simply download your PDF save your image and email it over to us at support at Greenhouse Emporium so we can work for you to get the best possible price. It's your choice. With our dream greenhouse configuration complete, let's go ahead and download our PDF and then review all of our special features. Now I've already downloaded my PDF from my greenhouse. So let's go over what you're gonna see here on all the displays. Now, right away, you'll be presented with your dimensions, your personalizations that you've chosen. A little further down, here is where this becomes important, your doors and windows, your accessories. With our action models, these accessories will come standard, but since you're designing your own greenhouse, these accessories will need to be added and confirmed that they are there. So we can see here, I've got my doors and my windows and my fly screens represented. And as you go down, you'll get a full view 3D view of your greenhouse. And as you go further down, you'll start to see the front side view, the left side view, the right side view. And the reason all these views are important is you can see that your side windows, your roof decorations are all represented. 
So take your time, review your drawings, make sure that everything is how you would like it. Now, remember, a lot of these features you can install where you like them at the time of installation. With your accessories confirmed, continue to scroll through your PDF, taking a look at all the different views, just to ensure that once again, your accessories are placed where you want them. And once you're satisfied, go ahead and take that saved file and email it over to us at greenhouseemporium.com and allow us to go to work getting you the best possible price. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and you're ready to design the greenhouse that you've been dreaming of. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more greenhouse videos. And if you have any questions, please leave us a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Trevor with Greenhouse Emporium and let's go gardening.